All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the Brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this is a, another quick hit, straight to the point. This is Acts 16 and 16. It says, And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, possessed with the spirit of divination, met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. All right, so this is an account with Paul and Silas, okay? And what we're reading here is this woman, this certain damsel, who was possessed with the spirit of divination, okay? Which spirit of divination is a lying spirit, okay? And it says, which brought her masters much gain by Susan. Now, I uh, want to want to bring this up here in the blue letter. The word uh, divination. You know, I remember bringing uh, going through this a while ago, and um, just a, just more edification of what she could have been possibly talking about. What was her her telling stories was about, right? So this is G. 4436 Strong's G 4436 Puthon 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 Okay It says the name of the region where Delphi Delphi the seat of the famous oracle was located All right Uh Let me see here bear with me Okay, this is, um, it says, in the Greek mythology, the name of Py Python, the, excuse me, the name of the Python serpent, serpent, a dragon that dwelt in the region of Pythos at the foot of Parnassus and Phocis, and was said to have guarded the or oracle at Delphi and had been slain by Apollo. Okay, it says a spirit of divination because you know what she was more than likely doing was speaking what greek mythology okay which mythology is not real okay it's a lot of what esau pushes uh is greek mythology i remember um the boxer anthony joshua he spoke of the gods you know he would say uh you know if the gods wanted him to win he will win if the gods wanted him to lose he would lose you know, so with that type of speak, you can tell he's into what? Greek mythology. Okay? And that's what this woman was doing. She had the spirit of uh, divination. Okay? So more than likely, she probably was speaking of this mythology about Apollo slaying this, this uh, serpent. Okay? So let's go back. Let's go back here to Acts 16 and 16. It says, And it came to pass... As we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High Yahweh, which show unto us the way of salvation. All right, so she followed Paul and them. Okay, and it says, verse 18, And this day she many days. But Paul being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Okay, so Paul was grieved, man. He didn't want to hear that shit no more, so he healed her. He basically cursed the spirit, the uh, demon out that was on her, and the Most High removed it from her. All right, now it says verse 19, and when her masters saw that the hope of their gains were gone, and that gains were their money, it says they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. All right. So why did they do this? Because Paul and Silas was teaching of Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And the blood of Yahweh Shai, okay, you know, when it's being taught in your kingdom, you know, your kingdom is eventually going to fall. All right. And I believe there's another scripture that said uh, this man's blood is upon us. Uh... I know it's in Acts, I believe, when they say he teaches this, this man, he pours this man blood upon us, roughly paraphrasing, because 
when you teach of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is either going to bring life or death, man. And Paul was bringing life to this dead, this dead society, which was being a Roman. So let's read that again. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains were gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. All right. So he snatched Paul up and dragged them into the judges. It says, and brought them to the magistrates, saying, these men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city. So just as it was back then, that's the saying that's happening now. Okay, with the starting with the prophets, all right, our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone and on down throughout the uh, four corners of the earth. You got Israelite camps out there speaking about us being the true Jews. Okay, and they do what? It says exceedingly trouble the city. Okay, so Paul and Silas were troubling the city. Okay, because why? They were waking up the the uh, the Lord's people. Okay, they were waking them up. All right. That woman, she was woken after that, okay? When that lion spirit came off of her, she was not able to uh, speak these sued sayings, all right? To get that money for uh, the people she was working for, all right? The men, I'm guessing, right? Now, verse 21, it says, And teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. Now, that's the point of this uh, quick hit, is verse 21. And teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, uh, neither to observe being Romans. All right. So when, you know, when they call themselves Roman citizens, just as well as today, people call themselves American citizens. And how this lesson came to me, I was sitting in a car and I've seen, you know, Jake with their mask on. Now, mind you, they're in the park and I can see that by observing their social, you know, these are elderly you know, it was about two men, three men, and three women, you know, and they were social distancing with their mask on. And it hit me and it said, you know, Esau Edom have changed the ways of being, a, being an American today. All right. We're in a new norm of being an American. Okay. This new American way will, will be in their eyes, everyone being microchip, being a transhuman. All right, where humans, or let's say people, people are merged with technology. So it says, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive. Why is it not lawful for two thirds of the people, two thirds of you Israelites to receive this truth? Because they practice the customs of being an American, just as well as they did back then. It says, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive. Why is it not lawful for them? Because they believe in being, being an American, okay? They believe whatever it is that the government tell them that they are, being an African American, you know, a Puerto Rican, a Jamaican, a Haitian, and so on, all right? And if the government tell you to wear a mask when you go outside because, because you can get the C-19 through airborne, they believe it. They believe it, man. You know, when you tell them, you know, not to eat crab, shrimp, lobster, and pork, all right? They do it because the customs and the ways of being an American, all right? And I'm saying that because I'm in the Western world, okay? The North, North, uh, West, okay, Western world. You got uh, Israelites scattered and you got the elect scattered. So according to their land and where they at, you know, it's unlawful to practice the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and you being a Jew, which Jew derives from Judah, okay? So you being an Israelite, all right? And that's why two thirds can't get it. It's just one reason why they can't get it, man. All right, it says, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans, all right? So when you tell, you know, our people, the majority of our people, the masses, of the Israelites that you're the Israelite that the Bible speaks of and the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver you, they can't receive it, all right? They can't receive it because they're wicked, okay? They trust in oppression, all right? They they trust in their their government. Uh, as the scriptures say, what's that in Lamentations? Um, uh, they trust of in vain help, uh, looking for a nation that could not save them, all right? They don't believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And meanwhile, the Lord sent his prophets to basically speak the words of healing, to be healed, man. 
and as a people, all right, from the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, all right, we need to be healed, man, because our people are destroyed, destroyed, man. So that's the quick hit of the day. I wanted to bring this up. I hopefully, I hope it was edifying. All right, Acts 16, 21, this is the point. And teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. The scriptures tell you not to, to uh, in the law, to prick your skin, man. All right, to, to prick your skin. So you're not supposed to be getting vaccinated, okay? The law tell you in the dietary law what foods to eat and what foods not to eat. All right, so you know the customs and ways of this world is not the customs and ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So those that choose, all right, Esau over the Most High, then that's your destruction, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.